Well guys, welcome back to another episode. We have been insanely busy, as you can see. We finished off the passenger side floor with sound deadener spray and got stuck into the welding on the driver's side, which was super exciting. We've also been doing some work on the passenger side inner guard before we can piece it back together. If you don't remember, the passenger side inner guard was really rusted out, so there was a bit of work involved in grinding out another piece of sheet metal and then shaping it to suit the inner guard before we were able to weld it back together and have it coated with primer and paint. It was definitely a relief to get that all done and finally put the guard back together. Now we're going to jump into the rest of the episode and see what else we've been up to. We're getting so close and we're so excited to have this put back together. Well guys, as you would have seen, we had the left hand inner guard off last time. We were doing some welding on it, but the welder decided to cark it. So uh, we had to fix that. It's fixed now. Today we've got the left hand inner guard off again and we're just finishing off the welding. We'll get that all welded up and cleaned up, prime it and put it back on um, with all the battery and everything back in. And whilst uh, Grandad's welding that up, I'm going to get stuck into the back. We've cleaned up all the flooring and we're going to lay some sound deadening in there. So come along for the ride. So we've picked this up from Autobahn. This is Car Builder's sound deadener. And we also got the roller. So this is going to be handy to get in all those grooves and over the humps and everything. So we're going to lay this in today into the back. We've got two boxes, so it should do most of the floor um, and work our way towards the mid section of the car. Okay guys, as you can see, I've got the back pretty down pat at the moment. I've just got a few offcuts that I'm gonna be using in small little sections that I couldn't get with the big sheets. But I think we've done a pretty good job so far. It looks pretty schmick too, all nice and shiny, although we're not gonna see it. <laughs> and then we'll do the front. Yeah, I'll just finish this off and it should look pretty tidy. Okay guys, as you can see, we've got the inner guard all back together. We're starting to bolt everything. Well, we've pretty much got everything bolted back onto the inner guard. We've just put the air box in. I'm about to put this catch can back on. Just uh, pop the hose clamp back on it. But the inner guard and the guard is pretty much all on. And then we're just um, gonna cut and polish the guard, fit the flare on it, and it should look pretty neat. Where the front flare actually sat was way too far forward. And there's a piece down here that kind of molds to the shape of the body that's down there. Um, and it was sitting way too far forward. So I'm, if I'm flexing out on the tracks and this wheel's, you know, turn, it's probably gonna grab on there and catch it. So what we're gonna do is we've got it taped up sitting roughly where we're gonna have it. And we're gonna re-drill some holes in here and get it sitting to where it should be. We've got the back looking pretty flush and nice. So work on this one for now and see if we can get it sitting nice and perfect how it should. As you can see, we've been pretty busy. We've got all the guards and the flares back on and together and it's looking schmick. Everything in the engine bay is back together how it should be apart from this washer bottle. I did happen to break it, so we've got to replace that. Speaking of things we've got to do, before registering this vehicle, we've got to go through the interior and put the new flooring down and then we've got to start piecing the inside back together we've got door cards going in um, the seats have to go back in and everything just needs to look uniform in there and then we've got to start going over the car and making sure it's mechanically sound as well we've got a couple of leaks underneath either side of the tail shaft not sure what that's going to entail but uh, yeah we're going to have to get stuck into all that stuff check the handbrake as usual as you know in Land Cruisers handbrakes aren't the most reliable thing so we've got to go over that check make sure that's all uh, sound and everything before registering the vehicle we've got to put a new spare tire on it 
So yeah, we've got a few things to do. The windscreen needs replacing. We've got to piece together the front as well. We got the front apron on the other day as well. And we've got to put on the new headlights and the freshly painted grill as well to finish off the whole front. So bit to do here, but uh, we're getting to the pointy end. So stick along. You ready to get the floor in? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, a bit of playing around. We've got it currently sitting in the sun to warm it up so we can, you know, get it all over these humps and everything nice and neatly. And then we're gonna lay it down and mark out where all these bolts are. So I think the idea is get it sitting where we want it and just hit on the vinyl with a hammer where these bolts are and that'll kind of mark it where we need to cut out. So a bit fiddly, but it'll look all schmicko when we've got it in. Yeah, it's good. As long as we're pretty square and got enough to go down the side is the thing. So we're saying here. I think so, because that your this that bump is on sort of on there. There's the bolt there, yep. and it bumps there, well, sort of like thing. The bolt for me. Yeah. Well, we won't do those until we get this cut here, yeah. So we can get it to sit down, so we know where we are. Mm.
as you would have seen, we've been laying the vinyl flooring in the 80, um, and we've come to the point where we're able to put all the seats and the center console back in. We've got the driver's side seat back in. I'm about to whack the passenger side seat in, then we can put the center console in, the cover for the handbrake, and it's gonna be looking pretty tidy and uniform in here. So uh, we're gonna whack that in, and it's getting exciting. All the uh, insides just about done. I'm just never seizing the bolts here. So what this does is it makes it a little bit easier for us to undo these if in the event we ever need to undo it. Um, I can't think of too many events unless I really wanted to pull this a car apart again. Apart again, which might be something in the future. We've actually uncovered some issues with the rear diff. Today's job is to drain the oil out of the diff and get it ready to pull the center out to see what's really going on here. All right, mister, <laughs> tell me what's going on. Well, we've just stuck our head underneath here and um, we're looking at where we drain the oil and there's a bit of metal that's kind of got in around the bolt that we've got to undo to drain this diff. Um, so at the moment we're just chipping away and trying to make space so we can at least get a socket on it and try and get it undone. Um, so that's our first task and then we'll be draining it and um, then getting this thing jacked up. So. Why does that happen? Huh? Why does it? Why is there metal in there? Around the thing. Yeah. Just over time. It's probably, I don't even know if it's metal. It might just be like a bit of corrosion from like over the years, a bit of dirt, grime and all that's just formed a real hard solid casing around the, the bolt. So just trying to free that up so we can get a socket on it. But yeah. Fun times. Yeah. Ready for the messy part. Yeah, you could say that. Grandma's just grabbing a rag for me because it's just going to go everywhere. But yeah, once he gets back, we'll just loosen her off and away we go. Wait. Yep. Yep. Wow. Oh yeah, it does smell. That? Can you see it? So we've just pulled the bolt out of the bottom of the diff to drain the oil and the amount of metal that is on that bolt is a little bit concerning. Drain plug. Yeah, the drain plug. Um, there shouldn't really be that much. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting to uncover what's actually happened in there. We know the bearings have sort of gone but I don't know whether the gears or whatever are playing up in there too. Very scary. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll see eventually once we get it all uncovered. But it's not a good start. Next thing that you're going to do after you well the oil's still slightly draining. So what we're doing is we're just cracking the nuts on the wheels. We're just trying to break them. Um, we've uncovered a few loose ones. So I drove this car with a few loose nuts. So. Uh, Check your wheel nuts when you're about to drive away a car that you've just bought. <laughs> if you look at this one right here, we haven't even touched it with that bar and I'm undoing that with my fingers. So now we've got the uh, it all jacked up, we've got it on stands at the moment as well, holding it all up for us so we can take these wheels off now. Got it. 
So yeah, we'll get these wheels off and then we'll get into the fun stuff. out of the 80 we've just unbolted that and uh, it was a bit of a bugger some of those bolts were a bit uh, stubborn so we had to get a bit of a pry bar and put it on the on the spanner there to give us a bit of leverage but we got it out uh, one of the uni joints this one here at the front that's fine it doesn't make a rattling noise the one at the back if you can hear that so I'm meant to do that so we've take, we had to take this out anyway, but we're going to get that redone and rebuilt. Um, and the guys up at Pinnacle are going to do that because I've got absolutely no idea what to do in regards to fixing that. So those guys are going to take care of that for us. Um, but yeah, that's one step closer to getting this different part. So we just had to remove some collets out of there, loosen them out, get them out of the way and free up this. So it took a little bit of going, but this is the axle. It's going, doesn't it? There it is. This is the center of the diff, and my god, it's heavy. But um, this is what we're going to be taking the pinnacle. They're going to be checking over the bearings in here. Well, they need replacing, and then all the gears and whatnot in here. We're going to get all checked over and made sure it's all hunky dory. I need to put this bad bastard down, but. So, as you guys are aware, we've got the center diff and the tail shaft, and we've just arrived here at Pinnacle. We're about to hand this over to the boys, let the experts get to work, and uh, figure out what's wrong with the diff and replace that uni joint on the tail shaft. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bit of pain in that one, that's all right. We'll just yeah. do both ends. Yeah. Call it a day. Yep. And then that's your diff, is it? Yeah. Rear? Yes. Yep. yep. Front, front's okay? Yeah, front's okay from what I'm aware. Yep. Shouldn't do that. So, um, it just means that the splines themselves internally between um, the, the input um, pinion flange and the actual shaft is probably warm. So we'll just have a look if it's the if it's the pinion flange. Um, that's a replaceable part. Yep. We can replace the pinion and crown wheel as well, of course, but um, it looks pretty good. So mm. hopefully mm. it's okay and we can just replace the flange. Yep. Um, and not have to replace the pinion, but yeah, right. that shouldn't move like that. Mm. Right. Um, oh. But then the backlash, like that, that is quite a lot of movement in that. Yep. But then the, the actual like backlash in the diff itself is pretty good. Yep. There's not a heap of backlash in it, which is why. Crown wheel and everything looks yeah, quite okay. good, quite good still. Yep. Oh, there's. Oh no, yeah, there's a. He's done. There's a chunk. That's a chunk. That'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> That's it. All over Red Rover, she gets the whole lot. Crown wheel, pinion, new pinion, flange, the whole box of lights. Yep. Oh, you beauty. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was looking at it before <laughs> thinking, geez, it looks all right. This looks pretty good. Because I had a look at it as well. No, I didn't spin it around, but I had a brief look over it and I was like, oh yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, yeah. And that's then, yeah, that. Yeah. Chip teeth. It's all but, over. Yeah. So. so what happens is when the cone tries to go back in, the cone can't seat in its home properly. Right. So you tighten them down and you tighten them to torque or by hand, but the cone isn't all the way in. It's resting on that flattened off surface. Right. Right? Yep. So the way to fix it is unfortunately replace the actual axle itself right. with a new one. Yep. The way you're supposed to take it off is run a bolt into here yep. and put some pressure on it and then use a brass drift on the end of these to pop the cones out to release it and then yep. you can take the axle out. Hmm. Right? So if you see any flattening on yeah. here, okay. let me know. We'll get you a pair of new axles. Yeah, I'll have a look. Um, these 8mm studs, if if they're not damaged, um, like even in Sooty's here somewhere, yep. even in that we only run 8mm studs but ARP studs in it. Right very 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 rarely ever have an issue with it so yeah. 10 mil upgrade really not totally necessary or not necessary at all in our book yeah um it's usually damage from people trying to get that cone to pop out mm -hmm. and hammering the outside of the axle that's just the wrong way to go about it oh well, yeah so check yours <laughs> yeah. how did you do it michael <laughs> he may have he may have taken the hammer approach might have yeah. um oh. <laughs> the other one <laughs> The other method is um, the bolts in there just to apply a bit of pressure and hit the end of the axle right. and it just causes the axle to bounce and yep. push the cones and release the cones out of it. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, well, there you go. So yeah, that's, we, we probably, I'd say 80% of the cars we get in are like this and we end up replacing axles. Yeah, right. Um, and then no more issues. You don't break, you generally don't break these if that's all yeah. actually healthy. watching guys we really hope you enjoyed this episode we've got so much exciting stuff going up oh, we've had so many deliveries for this 80 series and stuff is getting like super exciting for us right now it's coming down to that final end where we need to crunch for time and get everything done so stick along for the ride the best part is yet to come we'll catch you guys on our next episode see you Bye, guys, guys.